In this video, we'll balance the equation AGI plus Na2S, silver iodide plus sodium sulfide. Let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have one silver, one iodine, two sodium atoms, and one sulfur atom. Product side, two silver atoms, iodine, one of those, one sodium, and one sulfur. Why don't we put a two in front of the AGI? So one times two, that would give us two silver atoms. Those would be balanced, but this two, it goes to everything. So we have one times two, that would give us two iodine atoms. If we were to put a two in front of the sodium iodine, we'd have one times two, that would balance the sodium. Two goes to everything, so one times two, that would give us two of those iodine atoms, and we're done. This equation is balanced. In this reaction, when these two substances combine and react, we end up with this silver sulfide and sodium iodide. This is insoluble, so this will be a solid. Sodium compounds are very soluble, that'd be aqueous. But So we'd have this, and this would fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AGI plus Na2S, silver iodide plus sodium sulfide. Thanks for watching.